All right, the meat is ready. It's mixed together nice and smooth. So we are making sure that everything is holding together. You can see it. We are going to put it on the table. I will show you what we're gonna fill this meatloaf with other ingredients. You have to get a little bit of water. Put it on your cutting board. It doesn't stick so bad. Like that meatloaf. Let's put it. Now, we're going to get hard-boiled eggs, put it one next to each other. I got about seven of those. Huh, it just perfectly. We are going to take some pickles, just next, a little bit next to each other. Then put it on both sides a little bit. Not too many, it doesn't really matter what kind of pickles. Now, we're gonna take a sausage, which I got here. Beef smoked sausage. I'm gonna split it right in the middle. I'm gonna put it next to it. It's absolutely beautiful. And then we're gonna take a little bit of mustard and just tinsy, what are you doing? It's gonna give you nice flavor inside. All right. And now we're gonna wrap this meatloaf. It's gonna be absolutely incredible. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a little bit more pepper, fresh pepper on it. I'm gonna give you a little twist. Look at that. Okay, now, I'm gonna take it on one side. They'll go a little bit tricky. Don't be scared if it's a little bit break or something, doesn't matter. Because we're gonna put it all together. All right, we hold one end, another, push it in. Gonna work it out. It's gonna completely be closed. Look at that. Once you make about 10 of them, you're gonna be so professional, they'll know exactly what to do. Now we're gonna take a pan, we put some water in it, maybe quarter an inch. Then it doesn't stick to it very easy to don't put any oil in it, just water. When they come in low, gonna place it in. Look at it, Jack. That will fit in. We are going to put it in the oven. It's preheated on 375, between 375 380. Should be just fine. You put it in probably about 45 minutes. So let's go to the uh, gravy for the meatloaf. We're gonna take some onions, a little garlic here. So we're gonna add some onions. garlic in it, just wash it, chop it up a bit, all right, a little olive oil, all right, and let's heat up a little bit, and we're gonna saute our onions until it's nice brown. It's 
absolutely nice and brown. That's what we want. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna put some a little bit of ketchup in it. Not too much, but a little bit. So there. Oops. And then now, and mix it in. And now it's incredible. It's beautiful color. And we're gonna put some water in it. Yeah. I was gonna put some black pepper. Some caramel seed in it. Yep, put one bouillon cube in it because it's just a water. We want some a little bit like a star because we don't have a beef or chicken star. We're gonna use this one. We're gonna make the same thing. Let it boil for like a medium temperature, probably. Let's do 10, 15 minutes and you will see it's already starting to have a beautiful color. Look at it. And it's only like two, three minutes in it. And after all this onion is going to completely dissolve it, this gravy is going to look fantastic. Look at this color. Onion is amazing. Take it with a cornstarch. Take a little bit of cold water. A little bit of cornstarch. Just mix it up with fingers. Very easy. Yeah, and let's thicken it. I'm gonna have a little thicker, but I don't like my gravy really, really thick. I just have it just about right. Nice runny, but not as a water, but not as a thick, thick sauce. Because to make a big difference. You know some people like a thick, thick gravy. I don't really like that. So we are going to let it cool for five more minutes. This is already thickening, so you don't want to boil it so hard. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. Completely gravy from the scratch, absolutely beautiful. It's about almost an hour, meatloaf is ready. Let's take it out and look at it and see what we got here. Wow, look at this beauty. I'm going to put a little more gravy over the top. Look at this beautiful. Look at that. My gosh, it's amazing. It smells fantastic. This is the meal for the king. I mean, look at it. You talk about something what you don't see every day, what you don't taste every day. And for 20 bucks, if you hold your family, and so it is practically almost better than steak. Everybody loves me love. Hey guys, if you like what you're watching, leave a like in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And see you next time guys.